What's up guys? This is the Rohan and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the Wall. Let's play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off where we left off, we attacked or laid siege to the city of Gibraltar and the garrison is coming out to attack us and it's also going to draw in this supporting army. And we are defending, they have more, they have one mortar, um, but that's enough to convince me to deploy really far back. So let's defend. Um, I know normally I like to defend back and get away from mortars anyway, but in this case because I am the Knights of St. John and I cannot afford to lose any men, really, in my situation, that's that's all the motivation I need. Fortunately, we have cannons and canister shots, so most of their infantry will fall back in good order. We can deploy, deploy right back. Not interested in the hill, because that, for me, is much closer than I would like. I want to deploy back. Let's drop some troops in the centre. Is that a... Okay. It's a bad spot for artillery, but there's not a lot I can do about that unless I deploy... Some militia units here. Trundle these guys further out to the dead ground over here. Okay, so let's say I make you guys my centre position. This flank of two militia, guarded by a unit of marines. It's a very bad position in terms of maximising firepower, but. Let's put this militia behind barricades, the other two behind um, cavalry defences. Let's group them together so I don't forget I've deployed them. These guys sadly can't deploy anything because they can move out on the flank, as will two of my cavalry units. One will stay out on the flank here to defend, generally in the centre. Very Very funky deployment, this is. But necessary, I believe, if the objective is to minimise casualties from enemy mortars. So let's pick new targets. Pretty much go for their. Pretty much go for their cavalry. I'm going to speed up time because my troops are walking into a new position. But yeah, I really don't want to lose men here. I probably could do with, even though I've not really got the cash, but still recruit some sort of a garrison for Madrid. But yeah, I don't really care if I kill them all. Um, I just want them to be less alive. So there comes the, here comes the field artillery regiment. Let's keep maximizing speed because right now we're just letting our artillery fire it who they like. And their gunners are taking some hits. And they've routed. So my left gun teams aren't going to be so useful until the enemy crests the hill. But this unit on the right can actually engage quite a lot of their forces. So my main focus with these guys was I just wanted them to be in a good position to maximise um, canister shot. A lot of their cavalry. Lots of their infantry is sat back, hunkering down. We've got some troops coming around the top. Maybe instead, round shot the provincial cav because the Spanish bandits are light. The 
they're very light. Although if they keep marching closer, there's the shot for the... Provincial, provincial artillery, provincial cavalry. I'm very much playing scary cat tactics here. It's kind of because I really don't want to lose men. I want to chip away this big block of Spanish forces as efficiently as I possibly can. Does mean playing it really safe. So I do note there are troops manoeuvring around the top of this hill. Armed um, citizenry and a couple of cavalry units, so let's move my cavalry around. May even fall these units back like this. So my marines can provide additional fire support. We've still got the spikes to interfere with cavalry charges. He's playing at KG2. Definitely advantageous for them to try and force to force me off the hill or attempt to. So who's sat back here? Are these are reinforcements coming in. Yeah, they are. In square, let's get my militia back out to safety or relative safety. I just want them somewhere where they will force their cavalry to engage the square so I don't have to worry about it. We've got bayonets now, so we can try and. Oh, it looks like they do want to. Uh silly. These guys are coming in. Hopefully they're going to partially smack into the defences. These guys definitely are. So that's a whole bunch of cavalrymen already dead before they've even made it to our lines. Frustrating Farlock armed citizenry that might cause problems. Let's try run my militia out to engage them in musket fire. Good. To charge my cavalry on to go hit the armed citizenry. Bandoleros at the top of the hill. So it'd be nice to make them route without needing to. sacrifice too many of my own well I like to get my cavalry to the top of the hill to charge down into them but I don't know how likely that's going to be because they've lost their mortars now so it's less of a concern about our specific defences. I 
Should take out the armed citizenry. Blast him. Regiment of horse. Go get the provincial cavalry and also charge into these guerrillas. There's lots more guerrillas around than we really want to be. Well, the guerrillas managed to make my second regiment of horse waver immediately. Good. Charge my regiment of horse up to take out. These men can now swing out and hit the flank. The cavalry can get out of the way. They can go hit this unit of guerrillas. You guys keep pounding them. Immediately shift these guys so they don't hit my cavalry. Chase them down, get some good kills. Sprint my general around. We shattered. Oh, we're still good. Okay. Now they've shattered. Specifically, go after infantry because there's lots more of them. Whoa, general! Come around the line. The gorillas. Get my infantry round on the flank. Can you kill those irregulars? Yeah, my cavalry up here can continue attacking this easy meat. Regular, and go down nicely. You can go to those gorillas. The general can come around and just get ready to hit these militia. Kill those gorillas. The Spanish bandits are okay to leave. Send my general to chase down some of these units that are trying to route. Slaughter them! Of course! The arm sitting was already came back. Heaven knows how long they've been there. Aha! Cavalry, fall back! Here comes the enemy reinforcements, including pikemen. Try to lure their cavalry away, away from their pikes before we engage. We form our line. to keep chasing down as many of these Spaniards while, as I can and charge away from their reinforcements coming in. So we should actually better beat their cavalry one on one. No, this looks like it's about it. Gorillas that are about to enter the map are going to hit my cavalry. And 
my cavalry is about to hit them. There's more guerrillas coming in. The third regiment of foot is going to have quite the kill tally. Just keep attacking them with my cavalry. So, not very happy that I'm. Uh... Okay, you form a square. Everyone else, keep firing. There they run. Back into the line. Get my, get my general and get everyone to just keep, actually keep some of these guys behind. Actually, my left hand guns are better to hit them. My right hand guns on the hill, continue to hit the pikes. Charge these guys onto the next set of gorillas, and I think that's all of their reinforcements on the field. Drawn their swords. Yeah. I could. This could cost cost me my cavalry, but I think it's worth doing. Good job. These are all good facing the other way. Five men, 24. Notionally they're winning, but they are being cut down quite quickly, unless we can make them damn. pity, but not devastating. Everyone else make ready to pour fire into the 12th Regiment of Cavalry. Let's commit my cavalry to begin chasing down their pikes. There is a unit of gorillas there, but it's okay. Let's begin trotting these guys around. The generals are just. My general can carry on trying to kill them. Smash into this unit of. of, of uh, before they start chipping away at my cavalry. We're going to lose some men in the initial charge. Will they make us break? They may. We're tired. No, they will not. Ooh, let's halt our artillery. Another situation of we're very close. Okay, now we're steady again. Let's just speed up time. First, go chase down. Absolutely. Continue. Yeah, go after the regulars there, routing. So charge you down here quickly. General still chasing down the men to the north. Still got some guns that are firing.
Okay, we have done loads of damage to them, so I'm not as bothered about maximising efficiency. There you go, all of my cavalry are now going after this one pike unit. But the, oh, yeah, definitely going to make it. Yeah, there they go. But it was a good victory. It was a good win. We managed to gut the garrison at um, Gibraltar, which is good. So I'm probably going to want to occupy that fort in the event that it gets. That anyone gets any bright ideas. We're in, a, we're in a good spot now. We're in a good position. We've got no forces on the continent. We've gutted the forces at Gibraltar, and soon that will be ours. And then our eyes will turn towards um, Portugal, where we will attempt a lightning run. Although I very much would like fire by rank then. Um, because I suspect they will have it. <laughs> And I'd like it to be able to keep keep pace with the firepower coming in. And the Ottoman end turn marches on. Um, but it's been fairly good recently. Um, but yeah, things are... I'm okay with the way things are going in this campaign. The problem now is making sure that we don't ruin it with silly decisions. That's the main... That's my main concern. We've got a foothold. We're doing well. We have a reasonable economy. And we're in a good position. Don't spoil it. But we don't have very much cash, so I pretty much I probably need to, uh, you know, if the capital is threatened, I'll probably need to immediately fall back from Gibraltar. But then again, my main aim will have been achieved. I will have destroyed the garrison. And I wouldn't have... Well, I'll have, I'll have destroyed the garrison, and Spain seems to have been building it up very slowly. So I'll take a... I'll take a very damaged damaged army rather than a complete army any day of the week um, but I am concerned about the Ottomans ruining this end turn so I'm going to cut the recording chances are you guys would have seen the same stupid little graphic I've been putting up um, whenever the Ottomans do this so I'm going to cut the recording and bring you guys back um, whenever the hell they finish so see you in a sec guys and we're back in the action. So let's see who causes us problems this turn. So I think my plan will be, with this army, and the fact we do not have much cash, is to I'll probably merge units together, and depending on the size of the leftovers, I'll decide what to do with them then. Okay, so let's get... We don't need this guy spying here. Send him over to keep an eye on Lisbon. Get visibility on what the city's like. Yeah. Yeah, I'd very much like fire by rank plus... We've actually got slight positive income. I mean, the Ottomans are still blockading us. Okay, so... Sono parci in un litamaio. Let's merge infantry units together. Let's merge. Oof. Our cavalry is going to be very poorly. The Marines took a bit of a battering. I've got an unstrength militia unit. Um, let's drop that cavalry in there. Whoa! Okay. Who's intercepted me then? So 
It must be the support army. I mean, I'll probably. F I mean, I will fight it because it's a tiny, <laughs> it's a tiny force I'm against. Um, even though we're attacking, uh, my reinforcing army is very close, so I can build my line up quite nicely. And there's mostly cavalry, so I'll probably put my line infantry up front to withstand a square formation. Yeah, so keep you guys back. Whereas these guys need to just... run over here. Try not to get caught out. Actually, I can probably... Do something like this. Obviously my weak militia unit gets on the field as well. Let's speed up time. So it's funny, they don't want to attack because, you know, I've got to attack them. I'm thinking, <laughs> do I? Shuffle. Shuffle my militia along. There's nowhere really for you to deploy except maybe on the edge. either. So let's put my marines over here. And some cavalry over here. So who's just marching on? You're just marching on, so you just go here. As are my marines, but just hunker down. It's not some militia, but hunker down. Got so much militia. Okay. Regiment of horse will be provincial v provincial cav. My resident my provincial horse will win. My resident my cavalry will win, I should say. Regiment of horse beats provincial cav any day of the week. to receive the next charge. I didn't really want my cavalry to engage there, come on. These guys are limber oh, and face down the pikes. There we go. So they're gonna hit my marines. These guys aren't firing at will, which is good. Just keep an eye on my marines to make sure they don't use formation. It looks like they're being cut to ribbons anyway. They're just shuffling their formation, but they're not broken. Yep, they've 
suddenly realised. Okay, let's turn fire well on for these guys now. Hopefully get a good volley against the ninth. This artillery, get these guys into position and watch the pike and have a great time. Let's get one need to focus on the cavalry at the rear. There, militia. charge my marines if you want, but you'll regret it. It's not everyone dead. You guys all hit the gorillas. My general will get ready to uh, take them out when they after they finished well, when they start being very upset. Let's hold fire. General's going to take him down. Absolutely continue. And they're gone. Awesome. That'll teach you to interfere with the runnings of our forces. So they're dead. So you can sit in there. Okay, now we can selectively replenish. Let's not replenish you. Can't recruit any more any more guards, but that's okay. You are growing really quickly, which is nice. Insediamento assediato. Why can't we recruit anything? That's my... I suppose we can't recruit anything because we don't have... Well, I mean, we should still be able to recruit sloops and stuff. Hmm. Don't worry. You're holding them down. Uh, Going with that, that's okay. Division of labor would be good to get the wealth, but social contract also provides that as well as tech research rate, which is important. Um, so I'm gonna hit N10, but I'm gonna print. I'm gonna not print screen. I'm gonna cut the recording so we don't have to deal with what happened last time. So see you at the start of the next turn, everyone. Ooh, and the Gibraltarians are coming out for one last attack. And one thing you might notice on this screen during the intern phase is Britain has landed a small army on the northern coast. So we're probably going to want to fight this to dispatch the garrison as quickly as possible. That would be quite nice to make sure we... Well, this gives us an opportunity to maybe capture the city this turn. Which means next turn we can get our troops marching straight back. That would be quite pleasant. Okay. Same position as before, because we don't want to lose men, because we don't really have the ability to replace them. Terrible place for artillery. This 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 land back here is slightly above my army. Which 
just make sure they're not there aren't guns firing it. There aren't guns hitting each other there. So these guys can all deploy. We'll just all go for well, maybe the ones nearest the centre don't have to go for cavalry defences, but the out the flanking units I would probably like to have cavalry defences. Pick up this unit of line. The Marines can stay here as a bit of a guard. Yay, reinforcements! My weak unit of cavalry is here. And my generals left out here. As is my other cavalry. play this at triple speed because realistically we know we're not going to no back you go just keep pounding them with artillery and just try to make them leave nothing smart no style no finesse just good old fashioned killing. That's what we need. Especially as these guys run into my infantry lines. Oh, these guys don't. oh they are behind cavalry defences. So they're going to be very unhealthy. Especially if we just run back through the line. Yep. Yeah. Just keep speeding on because I'm more interested in what the hell I'm going to do about Britain rather than um, kicking seven bells at the last of these Spaniards. Oh, they decide to retreat the wrong way. Or the right way for me. Pan the hell out of them. Let's get the cavalry out on the go. Probably get my general out here as well. And you're just sticking around. so smug. But now... I should give my general off the leg, the regiment of horse, to meet these chaps around the rear. Well, it's never low. Yeah, just get them out of here. Weak unit. Just hold my artillery to make sure I don't get any accidental. No, you were supposed to kill that. Okay, you're running a weird direction. But I'm pretty sure this is their last turn of withstanding us. Maybe kill this particular unit of guerrillas because they're so so delicious. Cavalry can chase down this militia, as can the general. This weak unit's probably. I don't know. Yeah, it's good enough to chop chop them up. Oh, 
boy. The mincing machines. Oh, good. They've actually stuck around. All my cavalry can mow them down. Just keep right clicking. Sometimes it feels like it refreshes their logic. It's one guy. Look how many cavalry are there. Good. <laughs> So the city is not ours, but we're probably going to leave some troops behind as a guard and march the remainder back north. And holy moly, I forgot it's the Ottoman end turn. So um, see you in a second, guys. And we're back in business. So. Yeah, the, the Ottomans left our port alone. Then the Genoans have attacked it, so we temporarily... I temporarily thought I'd have some money. Oh god, Ramon the First increases the cost of building industrial buildings. As if this guy wants me to suck. Gibraltar is taken. Let's march. Well, I suspect... Okay, so... Firstly... Let's prevent any easy access of attack by leaving a militia unit in the dark. All these guys. Maybe march the infantry separately to the artillery in order to get the make sure the infantry get into the city. Do I rebuild the palace? Not, this is not a worth not a worthwhile economy but I think I want to I don't think I need to do any major reinvestment here but I want to hold on to get drill school to get fire by rank that's what I want to do could upgrade the fishing fleet enables the building of sixth rates oh yes my fishing fleet is where I can get fourths <sighs> yes 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 do that, Johnson. Awesome. And the Ottoman intern wasn't actually that long, so I'm going to hit one more intern and uh, not have to do all the micro. So these guys are going to... Oh, I thought they were going to go for the city. Oh, they definitely will. So we're in a similar position as we were <laughs> a couple of parts ago, where we're going to have raiding stacks. against us so it's tempting just land just land an army one of you <laughs> I mean I could delete that ship could but does that just transmit the problem you know towards me over here I mean I would very much like Lisbon but that is a very difficult problem. Okay, so we've got a social contract, so... Did I leave a gunner down here? I did. So we do get a fair garrison, but I'd like to withstand one attack. Oh, he's from the Americas, so that's not... F okay, so at least it's not France generating armies. You, good sir, will be annoying. Genoa. Peace. They demand Spain. Well, peace and... I can't offer you tech. Um... France, what if I peace and allied with you? Nope. Britain. Spain, peace out? No. I'm not going to give away Spain. Spain's all I got. And at the very least, it is growing quite nicely every turn. But then again, I'm, start, I'm going to start to get economy problems because of this guy. Signore. 
So, considering these guys are mostly militia, let's bring this full unit of marines back up to play. And let's probably take... these guys to join up and set this army to chase down the miscreants it's not worth rebuilding this guy i don't want to recruit any more troops because i've got barely any income as it is but that should be enough to hold off the french but it's just more money that I can't spend that's not going to go to my economy now. I've not got the firepower to go after the Ottomans. I just don't. So yeah. Fortunately, my uh, troops are quite happy with me. The city is quite happy with me. So I'm not going to worry too much about losing that happiness bonus. Or do I just march straight up to Paris <laughs> and take Paris? Um, probably not. It's sorely tempting, especially if the Portuguese are going to move troops away from the capital. But I fear all they're doing is just making sure that no one attacks them. So they're raiding, yeah, they are raiding my cities and I'm slightly negative. No, I'm slightly positive rather. Spend some money fixing you guys up. I am going to have to, these guys will work their way towards the city. So let's not rebuild it just yet. So let's move this chap up to go and take out these guys. So we have, Signore. If, if anything, maybe too much artillery. <laughs> Probably want to leave you behind. A general would be nice. Yeah, they still really like me because now that we get the resistance to foreign occupation benefits. They're probably going to hit my university, which is good. I'm going for the spinning wheels to get some of this better tax income. It's giving the option to upgrade the Ordnance Factory, but I have no need. You men, march on. Let's go hit Navarra farmland. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Knights of St. John episode... 13. Cheers everyone.